Hey guys, how is it going? Welcome back to another video. All right, guys. So uh, in this video, uh, we are actually going to play the Batwoman: The Drowned versus Challenge. Now, I still need just a few more shots uh, to promote uh, Batwoman: The Drowned to seven stars on my Void Lives account. So basically, if you don't know about this, I actually changed uh, the name of my Lord Lucifer's account. I've changed it from Lord Lucifer to Void Live, and as you can see over here. It's the same account as you can see Batman Day. Let me change the logo, you know, maybe later. Uh, so as you can see over here, guys, uh, it's 237 shards that I currently have. I need 130 shards more. I have a lot of gems. I'm probably also going to gem refresh it. So let's take a look. We need Justice League team over here. So you know what? Let's set uh, all the Justice League characters. Over here. Here we go. All right, let's begin. Uh, so guys, if you're new to the channel and if you're watching this video for the first time, I would like to ask you to please hit the subscribe button and click on the bell notification for further updates on videos just like this. If I would have had Cyborg, things would have been totally different. Right, there goes two opponents. All right, there it is. Now let's see. Uh, <clears throat> let's see what how many shards we get. It's counted actually. All right, just one. That was one. Now for the next pips, I'm just going to refresh it using simulation chips. I think I'll probably get two or three uh, shards if I win this fight. Okay, there is a troll citizen there. Here we go. And the damage is reflecting again. Alright. Thankfully it's not reflecting now. Here we go. So we had one. Uh, we had one shot before this, and let's see how many we get now. Two, as I said, two or three. All right. Now this is the third difficulty. The total three shots is what we have so far, uh, and I'll also probably jam refresh it for a few times. Let's see. Right, so this is almost done. All 
All right, so three shards so far. Let's see how many get, how much we get over here. I think it should probably be around four or five, maybe. Three. All right, and I got the uh, one piece of gear as well. Uh, now I, it's not like I need the gears. I just need the shards. So three and three make six. So we just got six shards till now. We still have some more pips to play, which I'm going to use simulation chips. So that makes it nine. Nine, ten, eleven. And twelve. So this is twelve shards. So which means it's gonna be there for like uh, six days for a week. So uh I think you should probably get around seventy seventy five shards if you don't gem refresh. Uh but over here I need uh, actually more than that. So I have to gem refresh over here at least for a few times. Let's use some gems because I need to max her out to seven stars as quickly as I can. That's three again. So I need uh, 108 more shards. Now 105 more shards. Let's do it again. So always start uh, refreshing the difficulty level three. You know, because it's it's much better that way. It gives you more shards. On difficulty 3 as you can see 280 may be a little too much so I'm gonna move back to difficulty level 2 maybe I'll get a couple of shots there we go yeah so we need the uh, around how many 100 I'm sorry not a hundred now I think we need around 95 more shots Let's use it again. You know, to be honest, I don't think uh, refreshing uh, difficulty level 1 would be that uh, ideal because it's going to cost you the same amount of gems to refresh it. Uh, but you know, the problem is that uh, you will only get one shot at a time or maximum two shots. Uh, that too, if uh, the game is generous enough on that particular time. So I wouldn't really suggest you or you refreshing difficulty level 1. But I think if you gem refresh difficulty level 2 and difficulty level 3 especially, you will get uh, a little more shots. You know, so I think I got around 20-25 uh, you know, uh, shots over here, uh, which is not bad. If I get 20-25 shots every day, I think I'll probably get 100 shots in... Uh, like four or five days at the max. I think four days should be enough if I get 25 shards every day or little. If it's 20, then maybe five days. Uh, so yeah, you know, I think... Uh, so let me just check if I have any uh, prismatic or anything else. Okay, there's just one. And this takes us to 270 shards. So it's exactly 90 more shards, which are less, which I don't have. You know what? Let me Let me do this, you know. Let me see. Because I do have a lot of gems. Gems are not an issue. Alright, three more. And four more. Not bad. So I, I got uh, three different uh, pieces of gears. Uh, which is which is great. And uh, that's, that's the thing, you know. That's the thing with the Battle in the Drowned versus Challenge. You actually get gears as well. You know, getting gears is a very important part for if you want to make sure that you have uh, the optimal kind of damage with Batwoman the Drowned. Uh, so yeah, always uh, try to gem refresh it. If you, you know, if you don't have a lot of gems, that's fine. It's not mandatory. Uh, but let's say if you're a new player, then uh, uh, let's say if you're like uh, someone at my place, at my position, where you want to max out the character and you, you have a lot of gems to spare, uh, then definitely go ahead and gem refresh it. But if you are a beginner, you know, if you don't have gems, that's okay. Uh, you can still try to get as many shards as possible. Save your gems. You know, maybe open uh, Batwoman the Drowned Premium Hero Chest for that extra shards if you want to get. And uh, just play uh, the challenge in order to get the full set of gears for at least five, uh, you know, which is the full set, five set, five gears set. All right, guys. So, uh, yeah, you know, that's, I guess, pretty much it for the video today. If you enjoyed it, give it a like and let's meet again in the next video. Until then, guys, you have a great day. Take care and have a good one, guys. Bye-bye.